Ah, hello. Eh, upgrades. I don't need no stinking upgrades. Ah, a couple of assault rifles and a sniper. Let's take a look at those real quick. Uh, let's see. Ooh, hello. There you go, that's better. And what about the sniper rifle? Eh, crap. Okay. Anything else? No, I think that is it. Okay. Boom! I was a complete bald face gas. Had no clue. I'm kind of afraid to step in front of that thing now. Okay. Wow, this is a big old tower. Okay. How? How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. <laughs> we blasted through with the mining laser. Superior firepower. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before Morgeth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. <laughs> or trap us all with you. I like those virtual consoles. Oof. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! What else could it be? It goes up, goes down. That's pretty much the definition of an elevator, I, so, I you know. I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? <laughs> These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Well, you're welcome. Jeez, I got we you have loose, to didn't hurry. I? The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. Yeah, Joker, you hear that? You need to move faster. Okay, it's okay. It's an it's an elevator, so I can't actually move around. Loading. Oh, hey guys. What's up, ugly? God, is. Back lump is even bigger than Rex's. Friend, I don't. That would be more fun. Um. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <laughs> <sighs> I like your attitude. Yeah, well, you're not gonna like my gun. Where's he at? Hey, idiot. You watch out. Down, so he's gonna stay down. Stupid Krogans. Why are you looking back? Oh, oh, 
the hell? You out of, out of shape or something? You're Shepard. You don't stop to catch your breath. What the heck? Alrighty. Well, that was easy. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. <laughs> we almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. Uh, I it heard must that. Be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful Racist. to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened for? to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. You a won't. century may seem like a long time to a short-lived <laughs> species just like yours. Just saying. Yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Uh-huh. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. Oh, that's interesting. According there was a findings, discrepancy between the, the audio the and the uh, civilization to subtitles mysteriously vanish. There. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge, patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. Oh, is but that I all? know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. <laughs> this cycle has repeated itself many times over. Cycle? What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Ew. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. <laughs> okay, let's just take notice of the truly renegade response here. Shut up and I'll tell you. <laughs> they were wiped out by a race God, of sentient machines. Jerk. The Reapers. The, the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. A beacon? Yes, that makes sense. But the beacons were not programmed to interact with human physiology. I am surprised you were able to make any sense of it at all. It's just yeah. a bunch of random images, even after I got the <clears throat> cipher. The cipher? Some Asari mumbo-jumbo. Supposed to help the commander think like a Prothean. I don't know if it worked, though. The cipher well, altered my perception no. of the visions. <laughs> she's kind of... I still can't make sense of what I'm seeing. And this was something another Asari did to you? Hmm. Commander, with your permission, I would like to try something. You were touched by the beacon. The visions are locked away inside your mind. One of my people gave you a deeper understanding of the visions, but you still cannot put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I might be able to help you. Mm-hmm. I think you just want to put your fingers in my brain. What do you have in mind? 
Like the Asari who gave you the cipher, I can join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans will help clarify your vision. Yeah, okay. it's worth a shot. Why not? My brains are already scrambled. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Ah, uh, demon eyes. That's creepy. It's like the same thing. <laughs> it's like you're not helping things at all here. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I, I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. That's right, Come on, baby. get to the point. What'd you see? The beacon on <laughs> Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. Uh-huh. What's our next move? Saren knew you were touched by the beacon on Eden Prime. He probably like came like after an, me because by an he angel. feared I could help you understand it. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least? Find the missing portion, and I am confident I can put all the pieces together. Yeah, We've okay. already got every other non-human species on board. <laughs> Might as well add an Asari to the team. <laughs> sure, why Thank not? you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit. You don't have an Elcor, though. When was the last time you? The ship needs an Elcor. Doctor Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah, that's Go it. Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah, sure. Patch him through, Joker. up on him again. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, I hope you plan to be civil this time. I don't enjoy getting cut off mid-conversation. <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's hilarious. Free XP. All right. So I got a uh, level up. Um, assault rifles. Yeah. Okay. Let's go talk to Joker real quick. Get his little uh, post mission quip. Hey, Joker. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. <laughs> if we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, <laughs> why don't you tell me why you're really here? How's the Normandy performing? Is I she think this is probably going to be the same response. She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got yeah. a balance isn't what you'd expect. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. I don't Lucky think we've for had you, a conversation I'm with anything this guy. but average. I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, And so I humble, too. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I can't have you on this ship if you're going to infect my crew. <laughs> infect the crew? Oh, man, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches Ouch. and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Well, what if I do like the sound of snapping shin bones? 
Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors uh... in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker. Mm, and it's stuck. She? Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Um, when we come back, we will head on to the next major story mission. Uh, as before, I will probably go ahead and do some uh, side quests in between. Although there, we don't have a huge number of side quests right now. I think at some point we're going to head back to the Citadel, and then we'll pick up some more to go uh, afterwards. So, anyways, if you have enjoyed these episodes, and I certainly hope that you have, uh, please do uh, comment. Uh, as always, leave me some suggestions if you want to see me uh, do the whole romance thing with any particular member of the crew. Uh, you have several options to choose from at this point. Um, and, you know, uh, barring any suggestions from you guys, I'll, I'll pick one of them and start to start working that angle soon. Um, make sure that you subscribe if you have not done so. Make sure you uh, slap that like button like it stole something, and we will catch you guys next time.